Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the real United States. I'm your host, Paul Campbell. Behind the camera is always our camera operator and my wife, Beverly Campbell. Welcome back to downtown Washington, D.C. I wanted to come down here because I wanted to show you that amongst the pantheon of gigantic monuments that we have to presidents and statesmen and to war heroes, there is this one monument just as you enter the District of Columbia across the Potomac River who is not a statesman per se, was never a president, was a war hero after the fact, but this in fact is a monument to an engineer. We're standing here at the base of the John Erickson Memorial. Now this was built in 1927. It's a huge piece of pink granite, about 150 feet in diameter, the area that we have for this monument, relatively small area. This larger than life statue, it's about six and a half feet tall, the figure of Erickson, sits just 900 feet from the Lincoln Memorial. Now Erickson has a very special place in American history and it's sort of fitting that he sits in the shadow of the massive Lincoln Memorial. Swedish-born immigrant John Erickson was an engineer who invented the screw propeller and forever changed the propulsion of both shipping and maritime warfare vessels. In the 1840s, Ericsson invented the screw propeller and he tried to sell it to the British Royal Navy, who were not impressed and decided, no, that's not something we'd be interested in. But one of the attendees of the meeting, a Captain Robert Stockton, was impressed and he was an American naval officer. He gave a glowing review back to Washington, D.C. about Ericsson's new screw propeller, and it was quickly adopted for new ships here in the United States. Unfortunately, Stockton also was an inventor and a designer. During a demonstration run of a vessel in 1844, a cannon that John Stockton had, or Robert Stockton, excuse me, had designed, the cannon exploded. And amongst the casualties were the Secretary of State and the Secretary of the Navy. Now Congress cleared Erickson of any wrongdoing, but his reputation was destroyed. His propeller, his screw propeller, continued to be widely used in American shipbuilding. But for the next 18 years, he was persona non grata to the American government until the Civil War. During the Civil War, the Confederate Navy, the Confederate forces, overthrew a naval base and took the USS Merrimack. They renamed it the CSS Virginia. It was an ironclad ship, very new at the time in the 1860s, and it had enormous impact on the Confederacy's success in naval battles. Well, the call went out from Washington for designs and blueprints of a ironclad vessel. Well, years before, Erickson had designed an ironclad vessel. One of, uh, one of his associates talked him into going ahead and submitting them for this, this call for designs and it was accepted. Interestingly enough, years before, Ericsson had tried to sell this same design to Napoleon III in France, and France wasn't interested. Again, the United States said, yep, that's what we want. And the USS Monitor was born. The Monitor, highly successful in naval incursions in the Civil War, uh, integral part of a, a large blockade that happened during the Civil War to starve off supplies from the Confederacy. And at this point, 18 years later now, Erickson has regained his uh, credibility with 
naval design and naval shipbuilding and with the United States government. Again, I think it's, it's kind of unusual that Ericsson's memorial sits here just 900 feet from the Lincoln Memorial. And it's one of those things you drive by and you see it, but you don't really realize what it is. Now, the memorial itself is about 20 feet tall, just over 20 feet tall. And I am told that this is a representation of the Scandinavian Tree of Life. And there's three figures here representing adventure, labor, and vision. Attributes that the sculptor felt were a very integral part of John Erickson and his creativity. So I'd like to thank you for joining us here on The Real United States for our visit here to the John Erickson Memorial in Washington, D.C. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you haven't already, pick subscribe and join us for future episodes. Please come along for the adventure. If you have questions or comments, leave them in the comments section below. We love hearing from everybody. I try to get back to everybody I can as soon as possible. And as always, thank you for watching.